project is going to be throwing a window into my computer case. I'm going to start out by setting my uh, points here to 3 eighths of an inch as I'm going to be cutting the corners at a 3 eighths radius. Looking to find the center point for my out here. That might work. I don't know if it works or not. Mark up. Next step is I'll pop down the center punch. Here's my scratch all here's my kit from my other my center punch. And get a little correct spot started right where those lines cross. A little, little tap. The bigger center punch. I repeat that for all four corners. The next step is to drill out the holes. Um, this corner here, I could not mark it. So I'm probably going to have to freehand cut that because that hole right here is in the way. You don't want to follow that. I'm planning on doing this in the drill press. But the distance between the column and the drill press and the bit isn't deep enough for most of the holes. Get a little clamps on this to hold it in place. Actually, hold on, I got a scrap of that. I'm gonna scrap of wood under that, so I'm gonna draw my bench up. Actually, not right where I wanted to hold, but a little too far that way. But 
think the bit's going to follow the same holes. the lines as long as they're equal because I'm going to be pulling from outside edge to outside edge I mark my sides. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is just do a hacksaw, one of these little extendable hacksaw handles to cut very closely along the lines. I've got this board in front and also another board clamped in behind this device. That way the sheet metal doesn't rattle too much. I gotta adjust the board, the board in the back's in the way. To the left of the line. There we go. I checked the Dremel bag. I might have some cut off wheels in there. Okay, change of plans. I found a single metal cutting wheel for the Roto Zip RZ10 with a ZM3 Zipmate attachment thing. It's one of the I never get, I really hate using. I don't have much accessories for it. But,
subscribe and do the next side. Is that more difficult? file look on that corner so it's really jammed up. Okay, now I've got that done about as good as I want to. It's fairly well deburred. I used a uh, machinist scraper. This right here. Some sharp corners to knock off any burrs. A little burr in that corner still. It's not perfect. When I laid this out, I laid out here, this here, are my hard drives, the CD drives, and here's my power supply, which is the area that I really don't want to be visible. I know that right here, which is on the other page piece, is my CPU cooler, which comes right out here. It's got air vent ventilation front to back, a fan, got some lights and stuff here, which is where I want to be visible. So I don't want too much visible because this case does not have any kind of wire management provisions. 